bikini bottom. The Children's Theater of Cincinnati is presenting the SpongeBob Musical Youth Edition. Show opens tomorrow. Features all of your favorite characters from the cartoon. Maybe an evil villain or two. Joining me to talk about the show is artistic director Roderick Justice. He is here to talk about not only the show, but I'm going to dive into the Emory. You know that before okay. before we leave her today. Yeah. But let's let's talk about this musical because we were talking during the commercial <laughs> break. It's just very simply, it's fun. Oh, it is just over the top ridiculous fun. If you don't know SpongeBob. Yes. If you grew up loving SpongeBob, if you grew up not liking SpongeBob, SpongeBob. you will love yes. this show. Yes. It is it is mind-blowingly wonderful. The the music is so much fun and the way they treat the characters and uh, and the cartoon is is just a good time for everybody that comes to make you feel like a kid again. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I've had that conversation with some people who are like, "I don't know about, you know, SpongeBob maybe isn't my thing." I'm like, gah, 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 gah. I'm, I'm, I'm like, "Really, you just have to you have to come experience this because while if you love SpongeBob, there, there are pieces of that for you. Yes. Even if you don't, like you were saying, the, the, there's something about the joy expressed through the music largely in this show that I think everybody can kind of grasp onto. And that's what's unique about this musical. Each song was written by a different, very popular artist. Yeah, I say, not people from, you've never heard of before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, the Flaming Lips. I mean, Aerosmith. I mean, you you name it. They they've been involved in this creation of a, of a musical yeah. that is built about a community, a community yeah. that, are tr that, that have these three heroes trying to save their community. And what better way to bring a musical community to come together to create the musical, yeah. but also our community is coming together to create this musical, including Joey Votto. Joey Votto! <laughs> How good is his French accent, by oh, the way? I know, yeah, surprising. Yeah, yeah. It, it's really pretty spot on uh, for those who have not heard yet. Uh, Red's first baseman, Joey Votto, is providing the voice for the French narrator. I, I do want to mention, it's not like Joey's going to walk out on stage uh, every day during the show, <laughs> but you will, you will hear his voice uh, echoing throughout Bikini Bottom, which is which is a lot of fun. Can you talk to me about this cast now? Because I'll brag on him, but I'm, I'm in the cast. Um, and I don't want to, uh, certainly not bragging on, on myself, uh, but my castmates. They sing and they dance oh. their faces off. They really do. They really do. You close your eyes and you feel like you're watching, like the cartoon could be playing in the background. Yeah. But uh, they are just tremendous. Every single one of these people just embrace everything that is the heart and soul of why these characters exist and why the cartoon was created in the first place. It is so fun, educational. It's got a great mission. It's mm -hmm. got a great heart. And really, we have people, adults, that come as a date night. Yeah kids because they want to feel like a kid again. So I encourage you to come see this show because it will make you feel like a kid again. And, and one more time, as Roderick was saying, songs written by the likes of, of Steve Perry and, uh, uh, not Steve Perry, uh, Steve Tyler and Joe Perry from Aerosmith, uh, Lady A, Cindy uh, Lauper, Cindy Lauper yeah. uh, T.I. if you're a rapper, that's what I'll be doing is spitting fire. Um, but anyway, <laughs> come 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 see the show. Yes. But I, I did want to talk about the Emory a little bit too. Sure. The, the, the transformation that is underway because you guys got a, an amazing gift the other day. Yes, from the from uh, Carl and, and Martha Lynn. It was just such a generous gift to make sure that, that the magic of live theater can continue to exercise people's imaginations for yeah. another 104 years. It's going to be a wonderful space, and you can check out more on our website, awesome. and it is just going to be an, an amazing future here ahead of the Children's Theater. And it's going to be a great weekend, too. We open yes. the SpongeBob Musical Youth Edition at the Taft Theater, 2 o'clock, 5 o'clock shows on, uh, on Saturday, uh, 2 on Sunday. We're going to have a good time. Yeah, and tickets start at just ten dollars come down and see us thanks for coming in buddy thank you i'll see you at rehearsal later today yes. uh you can always find our local 12 stories right here on youtube don't forget to tap subscribe and then you can get all the notifications